Yes. Um, you, uh, in your speech uh, tonight, you said you won't um, criticize or attack Hillary Clinton, certainly. But you did seem to draw some implicit contrast when you said uh, you don't take money from super PACs and you vote against Iraq so war. What I Keystone. said is that corporate media talks about all kinds of issues except the most important issues. Okay? And time after time, I'm being asked to criticize Hillary Clinton. That's the sport that you guys like. The reason this campaign is doing well because we're talking about the issues that impact the American people. I've known Hillary Clinton for 25 years. I like her. I respect her. I disagree with her on a number of issues. No great secret. I, sub I oppose the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Okay? I want to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. Doesn't she? No. Not to no. the best of my knowledge, no. I believe I am opposed to uh, the Keystone Pipeline. Okay, I voted against the war in Iraq. I voted against the USA Patriot. These are differences of opinions that we will discuss. But the issue that I want to be talking about is the collapse of the American middle class. You guys going to write about that? Yes. Is that an important issue? The need for to create millions of decent paying jobs. The obscenity of the kind of level of income and wealth inequality that we have today. The reason our campaign is doing well is because people are responding to those issues. So I am not going to get into the game of sitting around attacking Hillary Clinton. We disagree. We're going to have, if I have anything to say about it, a respectful and intelligent debate. Other questions? Why do you think uh, working class people in America vote against their economic self-interest? Well, that's a good question. And if I knew all of the complete answer to that, <laughs> I'd be a lot smarter than I am. But this is what I will tell you. I think the Republicans have done a brilliant job over the years, they're very smart guys, in dividing people on a million different issues. They divide people on gay marriage, they divide people on abortion, they divide people on immigration. And what my job is, and it's not just in blue states, believe me, we're going to go to red states, we're going to go to conservative states, is to bring working people together around an agenda that works for their kids and works for their parents raising the minimum wage to 15 bucks an hour, having a trade policy that creates jobs in America, not in China, making sure that all of our kids can get a college education regardless of their income, fighting for pay equity for women workers. We have an agenda that I believe can bring people together, and when we do that, we're going to win this election very easily, I think. How do, you reckon, how do you reconcile being the anti-establishment can candidate with being a career politician? <laughs> <laughs> Other questions? Well, you said you were a politician. I yeah. think that's a fair question. I've run for office 25. I've been in office for 25 years. As a candidate for mayor of Burlington, I became the first independent ever elected in the city's history by taking on the entire ruling class of the city of Burlington. Does that sound like a Korea politician? When I began my political career, I received 2% of the vote and then 1% of the vote. Last election, I got 71% of the vote. Running for office, representing working people, taking on Wall Street, taking on the military industrial complex, taking on private insurance companies, taking on pharmaceutical industry. I don't think that makes me a career politician. I think that makes me as a candidate who is standing up for working people and prepared to take on the big money interest in this country. One more second. You're new. I'm sorry. BuzzFeed UK. I was just wondering, are you aware of the rise of Jeremy Corbyn as the UK Labour Party candidate? Bit, yeah. And whether that's something you think you can tap into and whether you've got a message Look, for that Look, I campaign. think whether it's the UK or here in the United States, here's the answer. People are sick and tired of establishment politics. They are sick and tired of a politics in which people continue, candidates continue to represent the rich and the powerful, go out begging money from the wealthy. They are sick and tired of an economics in which almost all of the new income and wealth is going to the top 1%. And they're tired of a medium which continues to want to have gotcha questions and make conflict between the candidates rather than talking about the real issues impacting the American people. And that is why I'm not familiar with what's going on daily there. I am aware of the candidate. 
But I think that is what's going on in this campaign. The American people are saying enough is enough. Why is it that almost all new income and wealth is going to the top 1%? Why is it that our kids can't afford to go to college? Why is it that our child care system is dysfunctional? Why is it that we're the only major country on earth that doesn't guarantee health care to all of our people who have family and medical leave? The American people want us to address those issues. They do not want us to be attacking each other. They want to focus, they want a real debate on real issues, and I intend to give it to them. You're Thank you very much. Yeah.